Well, I've been playing the professional FIFA now since FIFA 15, so just coming up to uh, three FIFAs now, but this FIWC is the first time I've qualified. I'm playing FIFA since uh, 06 and competitive since 2013. My strengths in FIFA would be my attack. I think I always pride myself on having a good attack, but on the flip side, my defence is not always the best. My gaming style is ball possession. I like to keep the ball in my own side and see what I can do and where to pass and really slow building. Obviously, I'm the last uh, UK guy in the tournament. Obviously, you know we are in England for FIWC, so hopefully you guys can support me in my home country and hopefully we can uh, bring the trophy home. I hope they support me because I'm the underdog and the Britons like underdogs. Cody's a really, really good player. Obviously, uh, in the group, uh, we drew 1-1. Um, really close game. He kept the ball off me really well. I didn't really create that many chances. But obviously, the first leg, we, uh, I won 6-0. I felt like I dominated him. My attack was on point, defensively solid. I didn't really give him many chances. I will try to score as many goals as possible. Um, either I lose 0-10 or maybe I come back. So I just go all out attacking and see what happens. The game's not over. A lot of people think 6-0, there's no way that the opposition can come back. All it takes is one or two quick goals within the first 10-15 minutes and it's game on. I, I need to concentrate way more than I did before. Um, I need to focus more. You know, it's not too big of an issue if he does get one or two goals throughout the 90 minutes. Just defensively tight, keep the ball and just don't give silly mistakes away. The FIWC is the biggest FIFA tournament, so it's a pleasure to be here. And I'm very proud to be in the top four. To be my first time competing in FIWC in my home country, $200,000 and the trophy. If I win the whole thing, I'm taking my shirt off and swinging it around.